Hello welcome to my channel Mr. Facts. Today we will discuss generations of computer which are based on when major technological changes in computers occurred, like the use of vacuum tubes, transistors, and the microprocessor. So let's start. The first generation of computers used vacuum tubes as a major piece of technology. Vacuum tubes were widely used in computers from 1940 through 1956. Vacuum tubes were larger components and resulted in first generation computers being quite large in size, taking up a lot of space in a room. Some of the first generation computers took up an entire room. The ENIAC is a great example of a first generation computer. It consisted of nearly 20,000 vacuum tubes, 10,000 capacitors, and 70,000 resistors. It weighed over 30 tons and took up a lot of space, requiring a large room to house it. Other examples of first-generation computers include the EDSAC, IBM 701, and Manchester Mark I. The second generation of computers saw the use of transistors instead of vacuum tubes. Transistors were widely used in computers from 1956 to 1963. Transistors were smaller than vacuum tubes and allowed computers to be smaller in size, faster in speed, and cheaper to build. The first computer to use transistors was the TX0 and was introduced in 1956. Other computers that used transistors include the IBM 7070, Philco Transac S1000, and RCA 501. The third generation of computers introduced the use of IC in computers. Using ICs in computers helped reduce the size of computers even more than second generation computers, and also made them faster. Nearly all computers since the mid to late 1960s have utilized ICs. While the third generation is considered by many people to have spanned from 1964 to 1971, ICs are still used in computers today. Over 45 years later, today's computers have deep roots going back to the third generation. The fourth generation of computers took advantage of the invention of the microprocessor, more commonly known as a CPU. Microprocessors, with integrated circuits, helped make it possible for computers to fit easily on a desk and for the introduction of the laptop. Some of the earliest computers to use a microprocessor include the Altair 8800, IBM 5100, and Micro. Today's computers still use a microprocessor, despite the fourth generation being considered to have ended in 2010. The fifth generation of computers is beginning to use AI, an exciting technology with many potential applications around the world. Leaps have been made in AI technology and computers, but there is still room for much improvement. One of the more well-known examples of AI in computers is IBM's Watson, which was featured on the TV show Jeopardy as a contestant. Other better-known examples include Apple's Siri on the iPhone and Microsoft's Cortana on Windows 8 and Windows 10 computers. The Google search engine also utilizes AI to process user searches. The last one is sixth generation. As of 2021, most still consider us to be in the fifth generation as AI continues to be developed. One possible contender for a future sixth generation is with the work being done with quantum computers. However, until it becomes more developed and widely used, it's still only a promising technology. Thanks for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.